Hello and welcome to the Tarot Scopes for September. We're on to Virgo now. Now you've got your new moon in Virgo. It's the Virgo season and we're loving the energy. I'm loving the energy that's coming in with this. Feeling like we want to organise everything. Feeling like we want to clean everything. That we want to detox. That we want to fresh start with everything. A lot of motivation is coming in with this um, Virgo energy. So thank you Virgos for being so fussy with things because that's what we, we've got. Let's see what we've got going on for your birthday month, Virgos. Oh, you've got the devil. Okay, so this brings me to, because normally you are, so let's say uh, constructive criticism there, because Virgos uh, like to do everything correctly and they like to let people know if they're not doing things correctly. So let's say because we were in Virgo season that it's doubled for you now. So you could find that things are consuming you a little bit with this card. They could be extra um, Virgo-ness, if that's a word going on around you. Just be careful that it doesn't bind you in any way. Be careful that you don't become too obsessed with anything that you want to get done there, Virgos. You might find that there's temptation on your pathway, you know, the good and the bad pathways there. So uh, obviously stick on to the good pathways there. There could be controlling situations around yourself, Virgos, or maybe it's you being controlling with somebody. So just know that um, we don't like control, control. Um, people like to be free, don't they? So if this is you being controlling, just let the reins loose a little bit. If this is somebody controlling you, Virgos, that's not gonna go down well. This card is better reversed. And actually I did pick it reverse. So we're gonna go with the reserve reverse on it where the chains come off, where there is no restrictions, where there is no temptation going on around or where you've come to that uh, fulfillment of, uh, you know, that clarity to see the, the errors of whoever, whatever there is there. So just know that if there is a controlling situation going on, um, you don't have to have it controlling you, you can release. And whatever it is that you might be obsessing about that's sort of consuming you, doesn't have to there, you know, it doesn't have to. We've all got a little devil inside us, haven't we? So just be aware, um, Virgos, that maybe that little devil is, is shouting a little bit louder for you this month um, and not to listen to it so much. Let's see what we've got going on for your um, fairy card for the month. Maybe that would dilute it. Oh, it's the awakening. Okay, so this is the hangman in the um, traditional tarot deck. This is about release and sacrifice. And funny enough with that reverse, you've got the release there. So release and sacrifice. Let go what no longer serves you. You might find that you're having to dilly-dally a little bit this month, that you're having to hang around, swing about, and just contemplate about which way that you do go. You might find you need to look at things from a different angle, turn yourself upside down and have a look at things from a different angle there in order to let go of things. It's about the long-term picture, not the short-term fix. It's about long-term what's going on around um, and the benefits of long-term things, not short-term fixes there. Very much around um, sacrifice, letting go, and, and changing, changing the way that you look at things. So whatever isn't quite going in your favor there, it definitely needs a bit of a shake up. It needs to, to be looked at from a different way um, and contemplated about what you're gonna let go of there. But for me, this the um, awakening card, the hangman, isn't about a quick decision. It's about having to think about it, swing back and forth on that emotional pendulum while you do, um, sort of dither around thinking about what it is that you want. It's not a quick, a quick uh, decision-making card. And you may choose not to go that way. You might choose to hold on to everything and go back, backwards there. But definitely see things from a different angle and the higher perspective um, will give you what, you what you need to release yourself there, okay? So a little bit heavy for you, Virgos, on your birthday month. But maybe, like I say, it's because you're just extra heightened with the Virgo moon um in in your chart at the moment or in your sign at the moment there so just be a little bit kind to yourself and maybe not so critical there all right so have a great month virgos let it all go sacrifice release surrender see you next month